Who has been your favourite Hib central defensive partner? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, obviously, I've been here quite a few years now, so I've had I've had loads of partners over the years. Um, I'd say my favourite is probably Darren McGregor. He's probably just in front of um, Ryan Porteous. I think he's been really good, and I've enjoyed kind of seeing him grow up um, and coming into the, into the first team. And the first one that I think really helped me when I was young was James McPake. He came in and he was uh, just really helpful. Um, he was kind of experienced at the time and knew how to be a centre-half and I was just learning, so he helped me a lot. But I think the best partner I've had is Darren McGregor. Yeah. Why, why was it Darren McGregor? I think he's just so big and strong. He likes to he just... Um, nah, he's got, he's got everything, to be honest. He's... Um, He's just been, since he's came to Hibs really, he's, lo he's loved playing for Hibs, um, two of us Hibs fans at the back um, and obviously try our best every week for the club and yeah. um, ah, he's, he's obviously a great centre-half, he's got all the attributes to be a, a really good centre-half and he's so fit as well, you see him, he's, he's, mm -hmm. I think he's going to be 37 this summer um, and he still looks as fit as ever so he's, he's, a, he's a top player. Mm. What are your top three Hibs games you've played in? Top three? Um, number one's easy, Scottish Cup final. That's um, I think that's everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite game. Probably me um, too. I think that's, that's a difficult question. I'd probably say the two-two game when I scored at, at Tyne Castle. I think that's maybe would maybe sneak into my favorite games. Obviously, it was only a draw, and um, but we obviously went on the cup, win the cup at the end of it. So. That probably have to just get into my into my top three, and the other one might be the game at the weekend just there. I really enjoyed that from from start to finish. I thought it was a, an amazing game and uh, put us in a, a great position now to to try and win another cup. Who was your favourite Hibs player growing up? Growing up, my favourite player was Frank Sozzi. Have you heard of him? Yeah, yeah. good choice. Yeah, um, nah, he was he was amazing. Um, I think he was towards the end of his, his career. That's where, where he finished playing, but. He still seen it. He had amazing quality, like could they shoot him from long distance? Um, good passer, and I think I probably would have loved to have seen him in his day when he was. I think he won the Champions League when he when he played as well. So, uh, now nah, he was an amazing mm -hmm. player. If you could choose anyone in the world, who would be your dream defensive partner? Any anyone in the world, I will pick Sergio Ramos. Right. Uh, I think I think nah, I just think he's a complete set and a half. He's uh, obviously aggressive. He can defend, and he can play. He scores his his goal records amazing. Sender sending off records similar as well. So, <laughs> um, nah, he's he's got everything. Yeah, I think I probably would have picked. He's Van a handsome Dijk. guy as well. I, so. probably, I probably would have picked Van Dijk. But uh, what are your three biggest strengths in football? My biggest strengths. Um, I'd like to think um, probably reading the game. I feel like yeah. I uh, kind of I like to kind of be kind of one step ahead and read situations before they happen. Um, passing, I enjoy enjoy passing the ball. Kind of grew up when I was younger doing a lot of a lot of passing and things like that. So that's um, something that I enjoy doing, and um, maybe organisation. Uh, just trying to kind of keep the boys around me close so that if I make a mistake they're nearby to help me out. Why do you think you are trusted to be the captain? Um, I don't know, it's maybe a question for the manager, um, but I'd say probably quite reliable, consistent in the way I kind of behave every day. I'll, I've got kind of a set kind of routine of how I, how I work in the mornings. I've got a lot of kind of stretching stuff and I try and do everything as well as possible and kind of show a good example to the younger players and, and to anyone really so um, that's one of the reasons and, and obviously oh, there's probably a number of factors that come in to be a captain um, I, I've kind of had a decent injury record where I've been fit and available for most of the games and and obviously there's a, there's a performance side as well that the, the manager obviously sees me as, as that kind of leader type in the dressing room so um, it's probably an accumulation of a few things. Mm. It is there any part of your game you think you need to work on? I would like to score more goals. Um, I go up for a 
basically every corner just now, and I've not scored in a while. Actually, I was I was not too bad when I was younger. I, I scored um, like uh, half of my first team career. I, I scored a few goals, maybe three or four a season, but it's dried up recently. So I need to get back to practice and scoring goals. What teams did you play for before you played for Hibs? Um, so I've only really had one other team. Uh, I played for Hutchie Vale Boys Club um, from around five year old until fourteen. Uh, and then from there I went into Hibs, played there for a, a couple of seasons and then it was kind of time to leave school and, and going full time as a professional professional player. So um, apart from I had, a, I had a one month loan deal at St Johnston, so that's only the three, time, three oh, uh, teams I've played for. I'm at St Johnston as well. Uh, have you got any photos on your phone of your teammates being stupid? No, I don't actually. Um, my wife will tell you that she, I'm really bad for photos. I never take any photos. There's, I've got two kids at home and they run about and do funny things or nice things, and I never take photos of them. So um, that's one of my biggest weaknesses. I forget to I forget to get the camera out. What was the dressing room like on Sunday after the win? Oh, amazing! Um, I think we used were there. You'd have seen the celebrations on the pitch. So it was. It was similar, um, everyone jumping about, singing and dancing and we had to wait a wee while because the manager was doing doing a few interviews so it was uh, getting the songs on and, and it, was, uh, it was it was really lively, um, everyone was buzzing and um, uh, it just, just makes you think what it'll be like when we win it. Yeah, Take It Boyle was probably loud. He was loud, he was, uh, but he, was, he had that match ball under his arm, he was making sure no one, no one got a touch it and he made sure it went home with him. Is the banter in the dressing room good? It is. Um, it's been difficult recently because with like the COVID restrictions, we've had separate dressing rooms, so we've been kind of spread out across the across the, uh, the the training ground. But when we're all in together, it's it's always a good laugh, and uh, I'm sure you can imagine that Boyle is normally at the centre of it. Who was your idol growing up? Growing up, um, so from Hibs' perspective, it was probably, like oh, I said to you, I loved Frank Sauzy when I was really young. Um, and then growing up, probably just before I came in full time, was like Tony Mowbray's team. So it was like Scott Brown, Kevin Thompson, um, Boozlin in the middle of the pitch. So um, they, that was a team that I really loved watching. Um, but in terms of proper idol, I'd probably go David Beckham. I liked Man United when I was growing up as well. and. Uh, ah, he he was the man. His free kicks, his crosses, and and everything. He was he was a the the main idol for me. I like Man United. He's Liverpool though. Oh, that's why you like Van Dyke. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Steven Gerrard. Gerrard. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favourite Hibs kit since playing for Hibs? Well, that's a good question. Um, my favourite one, I'd probably say is the one we won the cup in. I think that's because it's so special now and uh, it's one that I'll obviously keep forever. Um, that one means the most. But in terms of the way it looks, I like the white one you've got on just now. I think that's my favourite away one by far. That's really, really nice. Um, and I like last season's Thank You NHS one as well. Um, they're, they're probably my favourites in terms of looking-wise. Mm -hmm. What is your favourite holiday destination? My favourite is um, probably Ibiza. Uh, I've been a few times, I've been with friends, I've been in kind of a couple's holiday as well with, with groups of friends, so um, that's my, that's my favourite place to go. Um, but I'm looking for, I've been to Florida one, uh, once as well and I'm looking forward to taking my boys there when they're a wee bit older, so. Florida's uh, good. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to as a, as a family, to take my boys there when they're older. Yeah. I've been up for that, so good, I enjoyed it. Nah, I thought you would, I thought you would. Who has mentored you the most throughout your career? Well, that's a really good question. Um, probably a mixture, really. Um, I'd say, like I touched on earlier, James McPake was a big help for me. I'm still quite in, in regular contact with him now, so he's a Dundee manager now. Um, so he he's helped me a lot. Um... Every every manager's helped me, I'd say. Um, Alan Stubbs was great. Neil Lennon, brilliant as well. Um, and and the manager just now, Jack Ross, has has been absolutely brilliant for me as well. So, I've been lucky with managers. And then on top of that, probably just my dad. I think he he loves football. Um, he's always kind of given 
maybe tips and things like that after games because he's probably the one person in the stand that's fully focused on me. Um, so he's he's always there for a, a bit of useful advice as well. Hi. Who do you think is the most difficult player you've played against? Uh, right, I'd say in terms of the hardest time I ever had on a football pitch would probably be against Robbie Keane. Do you know Robbie Keane? He played for Celtic. Um, he was like, he was amazing. At and honestly, I spent my whole game looking for him because he was hiding behind me the whole game. Um, and then he'd just pop out in front of me, take the ball and do whatever he, he was doing. But um, he was, in terms of a full game, he was really difficult to play against. But then obviously there's Messi that I played against for, for Barcelona. He was, uh, he's, he's obviously the best player I've ever played against. Mm-hmm. Um, but he... Uh, uh, he was he was just in second gear. I think he was just chilling, to be honest. But they still they still beat us six 0 So it wasn't a great day. Yeah. If you had a million pounds, what would be the first thing you would buy? Oh, I'd probably buy. I'd probably buy a house in Ibiza. I think. Mm. Uh, I think I'd try and buy a house somewhere else. Um, no massive on cars or that. I would, I would, I'd, I'd get a nice car, but I would, it would be the first thing I'd buy. I'd probably be a, a nice house in Ibiza, so I could go there anytime I want. What do you want to do when you stop playing football? Um, I've thought about it a lot, to be honest. I've thought about it quite a bit. Um, I think I'd want to give coaching a try. I think I've, um, I'm quite, quite interested in trying to help the young lads at, at Hibs. Um, obviously, we've got. A, a few good ones coming through just now, so I try and help them as much as possible. And um, I have got a kind of real interest and in focus on on helping young young players. So hopefully I can I can do that when I finish. But I've not done enough coaching yet to 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 tell you whether I'll be any good or not. So I'll give it a try and, and see if I'm any good. My dad coaches my football team actually. What's he like? Is he any good? Well, he's a good coach, but he's a bit of a mum. Is he? Uh... <laughs> Oh well, I'll maybe come and get some tips from him then when I'm when I'm looking to be a coach. What ex Hibs teammate do you miss the most? Who do I miss the most? Uh, I would probably say John McGinn, probably because he's an amazing player. We could do him um, on the pitch. Um, I think any team would would be uh, would be helpful to have John McGinn in your team. So would. It would be good to have him back, um, but in the changing room as well. He was he was a good laugh. He was a good guy, and um, I'm sure I'm sure all the fans miss him as well. Yeah, let's be honest. Well, we all miss yeah. John again, and we're we're happy that he's doing so well. So he'd be there. I saw a video of him um, in the changing rooms, and he slides over the floor and hits his head off a bin. <laughs> that's his uh, that's his party piece. That one he likes he likes doing the big cleansman celebration. He used to do it sometimes when it was. If it'd been really heavy rain at the training ground, we'd all be out in our snoods and hats and gloves, and he'd come out with his just shorts and t-shirt and do a big slide right through the water. But I'm sure he regretted it like five minutes after because he must have been freezing. Yeah. What's your favourite thing to do after training? After training, I'm normally straight home to kind of look after my boys and, and go see them now. But um, I it's, it's quite busy now. I, I do a, I do a bit of studying as well. I'm doing a, a, a course as well that takes a bit of my time after training now but before I used to um, just like meeting up meeting up with mates going out for lunch or dinner and uh, just general just generally chilling out but I've, I've not got that time unfortunately anymore What are your thoughts on this tackle? <laughs> well, let's see Let's see what happens here <laughs> how, many, how many seconds is that? Sorry, ref. I think that was 14 seconds on the clock there. Uh, nah, I'd probably say a bit, probably two things really. Uh, one, trying to get a, a big tackle in early on in the game and set the tone for the match. And two, probably a, good, a wee bit of rustiness as well because I've not had the game in a wee while, so uh, I was a wee bit slow off the mark that one. That's a good but, thing. Uh, we, I'd say a well-earned yellow card on that one, I think. <laughs> what do you think of it? I think it's a great tackle. Uh, you ever done, ever done one of them before? Mm, I think I had so. one against Spartans, but I didn't even get the ball, to be honest. Uh, I never got the ball either. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>